Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is a shop my stash update. I have a little bit of an update on some of the products that I picked out for August August Augustus for my August basket and we're gonna go through all of them kind of explain what I liked, what I didn't, and pick out new products at the end of this video. If you aren't really interested in my recap, I always have timestamps linked in the description box below if you want to just skip to the new products. With that being said, I hope you guys are having a great day. Let's just hop into it. Something that did not get a lot of usage in last month well, the last two months technically because I had this in my project pan for the last two months is my Nabla Cutie Midnights palette. I just don't have any inspo for this palette. I don't really have anything that like I'm dying to reach for for this palette so I've only used it once in the last month and that was literally only for the recreating Katie Jane Hughes is blue jean makeup look and she used this palette so I was following that tutorial I'll have the video linked up in the eye for you if you guys are interested yeah it's just not a palette that I want to reach for I think the palette itself is stunning I just don't have anything in mind where I like want to reach for this palette I also just haven't been wearing a ton of eyeshadow lately I have been on a lot of vacation going on another one literally today and I have to start packing for my month-long trip or it's over a month like five week trip where I'll be gone for a really long time and so things have just been kind of stressful if I'm doing makeup it's usually like really easy and quick and so because of that I just haven't been doing super elaborate looks which I feel like this palette it kind of has to be an elaborate look to use it regardless I think the palette is still pretty I just mm, just didn't use it as much as I wanted to or thought I would on the other hand though this is the Urban Decay Naked Wild West palette. This is the palette that I used today. I really didn't do any sort of elaborate look. I took a little bit of this deepest shade Pony Up, ran it along my lash line. I took the Cowboy Rick shade, the silver sparkle shade, and just kind of did like a, a swoopity boopity in the inner corner there. Not the most elaborate look, but doing that, I hit my five usage goal for my no palette left behind challenge which is pretty great in my opinion just another little added benefit to doing shop my sashes with eyeshadow palettes specifically just to get usage out of everything so i'm really happy that i met my goal with this i am excited to put this away for a little bit and pick out a new palette to work on happy about this this one could have used a little bit more work but that's okay i had two different blushes in my shop my stash for august the first one is the rare beauty liquid blush in the shade happy i originally put this in there to mix with my rare beauty liquid blush in the shade joy because i wasn't or i'm still not like a huge fan of the shade joy i think it's just a little bit too peachy for what i typically like to wear and i was going to use happy to mix in with that but that never really ended up happening like i said i've been doing really quick makeup things that would take like a really short amount of time and so because of that i've mainly just been using joy and just calling it like done so i didn't really use this that much similarly with the patrick tosh she's still la palette when i have used this palette i usually use the powder down here to just kind of neutralize any of that blush if it if i found that it was too peachy or if my lip combo didn't match with the rare beauty liquid blush in the shade joy so i didn't use this as much either but i this is in my shop my stash all the time it's one of my favorite blushes i love the flexibility of it you can use the cream you can use the powder you can mix them um, this is one of my all-time favorite blushes i just didn't happen to use it in this past month because i've just been using rare beauty joy the amount of product i have in that is getting really really low and i just feel like it's so much easier to blend out now anyway i'm over explaining i really like this blush i don't think there's anything wrong with either of these blushes i've just been really focused on rare beauty joy 
because I, I feel like I'm almost done with it and that's been motivating me to pretty much use a lot more Joy than anything else. The next product I have here is a concealer. This is the Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer. I have mine in the shade Y7. This one is a little bit too light for me now. I think the concealer itself is really good, but because I'm so tan right now, it just looks a little bit too light. I don't love the way this looks on me, but I think the concealer itself is really nice. Lately, I also just haven't been using it that much because my Merit the Minimalist Stick is in my project pan and I've typically just been using this as my concealer and foundation just all over. Yeah, all my other products have just been kind of sitting there. That's that's kind of too harsh of a word. All of my other products have just been kind of there as like an accessory, but I haven't been focusing on those products, if that makes sense. The next thing I want to talk about is my Tower 28 Sculptino in the shade Hammer. I think this is a really, really pretty bronzer. I don't want to say contour because I feel like this is more neutral than anything else. I don't think it's that cool tone where it like really sculpts and defines. I do like this a lot. I've used this quite a bit, especially for my more like relaxed makeup days where I'm not wearing a ton of makeup and just want to go in with creams. I do like this. I did pick up a pretty much a full face of Tower 28, which that video isn't coming for a while, but just like a little sneak peek, I do have enough products from Tower 28 for a full face, so I'm really excited about that. I've been trying out the new concealer and I've I've really been liking the new concealer so far. But that's everything that was in my shop my stash for the month of August. I'm gonna switch to my other camera and put these products back and we will pick out some new products for the month of September. One thing to note, which I totally forgot about until now, is that this Shop My Stash has to last me through October as well because I am leaving in the middle of this month and I won't be back until the end of October and I'm not planning on bringing a large amount of my collection to Australia and Vietnam with me. So when I pick out the new products. That's what I'm going to keep in mind. I might pick out a little bit more than I typically would just because I am going to be gone for so long and I do want some options. So with that being said, let's pick out some new products. Okay, because I'm going to be gone for so long, I do maybe want to pick out two different concealers, one more higher coverage and one more of a lightweight coverage or like a lightweight formula. Because of that, I think I'm gonna pick out... Let's do these two. So this first one is the Rare Beauty Under Eye Brightener in the shade Light Medium. And this second one is the Dior Backstage uh, Flash Perfecting Concealer in the shade 3W. This one is like a little bit more of an orange tone, but I still think I can get away with it. And then the Rare Beauty Under Eye Brightener is a little bit more of a pink tone. And this one is super lightweight, so I feel like it just brightens without adding any sort of coverage. And I think these two would be pretty together as well. The Dior concealer isn't the highest coverage. I think it's like a solid light medium, but I think that's still more than enough because like I said, I've been using the Merit the Minimalist Stick for concealer as well. I think maybe this could be a little bit excessive, but I am going to be gone for so long. So I want to have a few different options. Everything else in this drawer I already have in my project pan. I don't think I want to bring anything else. I think the concealers will make up for if I want something a little bit more a little bit more high coverage. And then powders. The Rare Beauty powder is pretty good at setting. So I just don't think I need another one. Okay so this is my highlighter and primer drawer. I don't think I'm gonna pull in any highlighter specifically because I do have the Lila B highlighter in my project pan. For primer though, I think I think I'm gonna bring this one, and this is the Glossier Future Dew. I haven't used this in a little bit, and I really like it, and I think this would be pretty as a base, especially underneath the Merit the Minimalist. I think this will also give the Merit the Minimalist a little bit more of a give as well, because it does 
feel a little bit more slippy on your skin when you have something slippy underneath. So I think this is a stunning product. I'm gonna bring this as well. All right, you guys know this is the favorite drawer out of the collection. I recently reorganized this. Um, I think that might be in a video coming up in like November. I've been pre-planning a lot. Anyway, I have my bronzers back here. Bronzers in a pan or a pot. I have my powder blushes. This right here are my cream blushes in a pot. These are all of my liquid or cream blushes, bronzers that are in stick form or in liquid form. And then I have a couple setting sprays right here. I'm not going to pick out any setting sprays because I do feel like I pick out a setting spray when I feel like I need it. So I, I don't know. I don't really think I need one right now. For bronzer, again, this might be a little bit excessive, but I am going to be gone for so long that I feel like it might be necessary and I do want to have a little bit of a range. So I'm going to pick out two cream bronzers. Again, I do have a powder bronzer in my project pan, so I'm going to try and focus, in, focus on that as well. The first one is the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transform forming skin enhancer. I have mine in the shade medium. This is a beautiful lightweight bronzer. It just looks flawless on the skin. You really can't go wrong with it. You can apply it with a brush, a sponge. It doesn't matter. There's no chance of you going overboard with this. It just melts in the, into the skin beautifully. And then this is the Makeup Revolution Ultra Cream Bronzer. This is a much more pigmented bronzer than the Makeup by Mario Self Sculpt. Again, just to have a little bit more of an option. This is also in the shade medium. I, I like this bronzer. It's way more pigmented than the other bronzer, the Makeup by Mario one. And I think it's nice to have a little bit of an option, especially because the powder bronzer in my project pan isn't as pigmented so if I want a super bronzy look I think this will be good as well. Now here comes the hard part. I have a ton of different blushes. I think I have to bring Persona Bubble. It's just one of my favorites and again I'm gonna be gone for so long that I really just want something that I know that I'm gonna use and know that I'm gonna love. Again this is a very beautiful cool tone pink blush. I just am obsessed. I've spoken about this for so long now. I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing it. Definitely bringing this though. It's just my favorite. Should I bring another powder? Yeah, I'll bring another powder. I think I'm gonna go with this one from Vive. This one is a little bit more warm tone. You should have seen the full face of Vive already. I think it was last week that I posted it, but this blush is beautiful. It's nice and lightweight. I like the color of it as well. And it's just a little bit more of a warmer pink. So I am glad to have that option as well. I don't think I'm gonna pick any other liquid or cream blushes. I think the one that I have in my project pan is more than enough. And if I want like a different formula, I just don't think I need to pick out anything else. So that's it for this drawer. All right, for eyeshadows, I don't know. I'm, I'm struggling because I definitely want to make sure that I am not overpacking and not like bringing too much stuff so I want it to be compact but I also feel like the palettes that I haven't reached for a ton are just bigger so I, I don't know the one that I want to bring is the Nabla side by side palette it just has a lot of different options it has cool tones it has warm tones it has just like my basic transition shades but it also has a few like sparkly duo chromey shades that I think are really pretty this palette is also one that I haven't used a ton in the past year so I definitely want to make sure that I get use out of it it's just a little bit bigger so I am slightly concerned about space, but I, I do want to bring it, so I think I'll find a way to make space for it. And then as far as something a little bit more colorful, this is going to sound dumb, but I think I am going to put the Nabla Cutie Midnight's palette in there. I just want to make sure I get more use out of this and... I feel like if the only two options in my collection for two months are this one and the Anabla side-by-side -side palette, there's got to be some way for me to use this a little bit more. And it's nice and compact, so I think this 
just has to be my choice. I know that this has been like three months in a row now, but I don't know something about this. I just feel like this is the right move. So I'm gonna pick this too. As far as like lip products, I'm not exactly sure. I know I'm probably not gonna wear a ton of lip products to begin with. I think I am gonna bring my Clinique Black Honey lipstick. I am almost done with it. So I feel like this will be a good way for me to force myself to use it. I do like the shade of this a lot actually. So I'm gonna pick this. As far as everything else in here, most of these are like full on lipsticks and I honestly just don't think I would reach for them and I'd rather not risk traveling with them. So I think everything else is just gonna stay. I don't think I need to bring anything else here. For this drawer, for all of my fun things, this is a concealer that needs to go over there. I am definitely gonna bring Freck Noir. I think faux freckles are so cute. In terms of single eyeshadows, again, I know that I'm picking out a lot of stuff, but it's just because I'm gonna be gone for so long. I really wanna make sure I have a good range. This is actually new to me. This is also from Freck. This is their shadow slide, and I'm not sure what shade I have of this. I think this is in the shade Le Drip. This is pretty much brand new to me. I just swatched it yesterday, and I think it's super pretty, so. I'm gonna take this. That's probably enough, honestly. Yeah, I think that's enough. I really don't wanna like overwhelm myself with options. I think the Nabla Side by Side palette has a lot of these kind of like topper shades. I'm gonna bring my M Cosmetics Cosmic Pearl Dewy Eyeshadow in the shade Moonrise too. I think it's just a very pretty eyeshadow. And if I want a little bit more of a frosty lid look, I think this is stunning and you know, there's a lot of product in here and I don't think I've used this as much as I probably should. And in this drawer here, which is pretty much all of my various glosses, there's a lot, there's a lot to choose from. All right, I'm gonna bring the Merit Shade Slick in the shade Taupe. This is starting to separate as you can see and I've definitely had this for longer than the 12 months at the bottom of the package. So I'm gonna try and get as much use out of this as I can. I think these are really pretty. I, I mean, I have several of them, way more than I honestly probably should. I do think I maybe want like a lip tint of some sort, but I don't know which one. I think I'm gonna go with this Romand Juicy Lasting Tint in the shade Peeling and Undo. I think this is really pretty. It's a little bit of a deeper lip stain and honestly for the days where I'm out working I don't foresee myself being able to reapply lip products very often so I think it'll be nice to have a stain option. Do I want to take a lip oil? I know that I already have my Summer Friday's Lip Butter Balm in my purse and so I'm definitely planning on bringing that but maybe on top of that to have a different gloss. I think I'm gonna bring this one from Refai. This is just their lip gloss. It's a super shiny gloss. It comes in like a squeezy tube so it has a lip applicator. I can't get it off with one hand but I think this is really pretty as well so I'm gonna bring that and Again, I know this is excessive, but I do really like these Rare Beauty lip balms, I think. This one is in the shade Nearly Petal. It's just this really pretty, really light, milky pink. And this is really pretty. It's really comfortable as well. So I think it's a nice option to have. As far as lip liners go, I'm just gonna stick with the one in my project pan. I don't think that I really need to have an extra one. I do wanna make sure that I bring my lip liner sharpener though, because I'm a little bit worried that it's gonna get dull and I'm not gonna be able to use it anymore. I think that's it. I know that's a lot, but I think that it'll be worth it. And again, I'm gonna be gone for so long that I really wanna make sure I have a good range of products to choose from. So let's just put everything together and see what I have picked out. Again, I know this is a lot of products, but this is for the next two months. I'm not gonna have access to literally any of the rest of my makeup collection. So I do wanna make sure I have options. This is everything that is gonna be in my Shop My Stash for the months of September. 
September and October. I will be sure to have a large recap on these products when I get back for November. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed just seeing my collection. If you are interested in watching my other Shop My Stashes, I have a whole playlist of them as well. I will be sure to link it in the little eye for you guys. These are all the products that I'm bringing. Again, I know it's a lot. Again, I'm going to be gone for over a month and I just want to make sure that I have everything that I could possibly need or want. That is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe if you aren't already and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys!